for you and Brooke had 26 of the team's 29 points. Can you talk about the tone that the two of you guys in particular set in that first quarter? Um, I mean, we were just trying to be aggressive and we were able to get hot. And um, I feel like on the back end of a back-to-back, -back, that's kind of just setting that tone and establishing that. I felt like for the most part, we were in control of the game throughout. And, um, you know, even though we were the ones scoring points, I thought that our whole starting five, like defensively, really came out and did a great job. You talked about being in control for most of the game, I guess. Could you speak to the kind of team defense that you guys are playing, the active hands and getting turnovers and so forth? Yeah, and honestly, I think that's a big credit to the coaching staff, too, just learning um, through the personnel that we have on this team, like what is the best coverages and when do you change them up and against you know who you're going up against and what does that look like. And I feel like they've done an amazing job of putting us in a position and I think we've just been working at it, working at it, and I think it's working to some degree. People talk about you know all the players' development. People forget that Kenny is a rookie head coach. How has he developed in your mind from where he was at the beginning of the year? I think he's definitely improved, you know. Um, I mean I'm not an expert on coaching and honestly like a lot in their meeting, you know, a lot of it is, you know, their meeting together. So, but in terms of, you know, his overall presence, his managing the game from the sideline, play calls, all that. I feel like he's done a great job. He's continued to grow. And um, I know he's really hard on himself. And he's always looking, how can I improve? How can I improve? He's always looking in the mirror first. And I feel like that's kind of consistent with what I knew about him, which is why I always felt like, you know, just give him some time and he'll, he'll get there. And how important was it for you to hit the two threes right away in the first quarter mentally? Uh, yeah, because I can't remember the last time I hit a three. Um, it felt great. Uh, <laughs> Um, and I think I'm just going to keep building. You know, I felt uh, the shot felt good. They, they kind of took away the three point line later in the game, but, um, you know, it's definitely a big you know, boost for me. Jeremy, last night in game two, you guys are 9 10, almost 500 for almost a quarter of the season. What kind of progress does that represent for you guys after where you were? Uh, I mean, it's definitely big. You know, we are looking around and, um, you know, Part of me is just human nature. It's like, I want more, or we should be better than 9 10, or I wish I didn't have to, you know, like go through this or deal with that, or, you know, whatever. Like, that's just human nature. But I think it's, you know, having you say that, being able to take a step back, you know, I'm still thinking about, like, how we lost two games right before we won this back to back. And, you know, and so I feel like for me, it's just like learning to be grateful and just think, thinking, like, man, we've come a long way. and. You don't always look, know what the future is going to look like, but you just keep plugging away and trusting everything, and hopefully, you know, in due time. Does it validate it more that several of these games have been against teams that are either in the playoffs or right on the verge? I would say it brings a little bit more, yeah, um, definitely. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, in the NBA, a win is a win, and um, you'll take them any which way you can against anybody. So. Uh, Definitely, but I think, especially for the young guys, because I think the older vets, they kind of, you know, who've been around, you know, there's a different belief or stability, but for the young guys, it's like, man, like, this is the blank seed in the East or the West, like, and we're competing with them like this, so they're able to see that. I think it's big for them. Is there a, is there a way to quantify exactly how important it is? I mean, Kenny's always talking about finish strong, finish strong. Is there a way to quantify how much that means in terms of you know, off-season workouts in terms of attracting free agents and they look and say, oh, no, this is basically a 500 team since the break. I mean, is there, are there ways to quantify the positive, tangible effects of that? Um, honestly, no, I don't think there's a way to quantify it, but I would say the number one thing that it shows me is, and what I would be looking at is character, right? Like, I always want to go to battle with guys who have high character. I don't mind, you know, given my all with people who have high character and you see us who have nothing to play for um, from the outside looking in versus playing a lot of teams who are just right there in the playoff run. and if we're able to match their energy man that shows character on these guys they're not folding they're not folding they're not mailing it in and and I think that's like I think for me I always seen that somebody with that attitude will just continue to get better and that's kind of what we're hoping for.